Well, good morning. It's another day here in Colorado, and as you can see, it is not sunny, and it's not very warm either. So that's disappointing. Today we're going to be wrapping up the corn harvest for this year and get started on some tillage on this last pivot that we can get our winter wheat planted here before it gets any later. Uh, I don't know if you can see out there, but Troy's running, running the quad track with a disc ripper and then once we get done disc ripping it, we're going to hit it with our vertical till probably two times going each angle and then we'll get our wheat planted. Sorry guys, I had to put my boots on there. I was relaxing and then Noah came, brought me the camera and make some videos on it. I know Noah kind of showed how it works as it's going, but I figured I'd stop here and just kind of show you guys. So right here, these discs don't go as far into the ground. Um, they're set not quite all the way down, but it's just kind of to break up the ground a little bit and to stir up the corn stalks and try and work them in the best we can. As you can see here on this pass I already did, um, we like to leave plenty of residue on top just to make sure like if the wind blows during the winter time that uh, you know the dirt's not all blowing around out here because it's not as compacted ground as it is in Iowa. And then right back here we have the seven shanks. It's a 17 and a half I think is what it is. Uh, the width of it but we got the seven shanks I'm not quite sure how deep they go down and then these discs right here they raise and lower some but they're just spring loaded you can see they throw the dirt that the shanks push up onto the side back on here to just kind of level it out and then this just rolls on top and it's heavy enough that it just pushes down the dirt and makes it more level, easier to go over and work it again right after. But that's pretty much the main just of the machine that we're using today. I'm probably gonna, I'm waiting for my pickup to get here because it has the drone in it, but I'm waiting so I can get the drone. I'll probably take some drone shots for you guys. And uh, yeah, but I'll show you the thing, the only thing about this quad track that we've found out is the hitch for it is a category 5 hitch and a lot of the implements that we find ourselves putting on here are not they don't have category 5 uh, hitches on them so we have to use a smaller pin because it doesn't go through the hole on the implement so as you can see here we rigged up some nice tile tape to hold that pin in just wrapped it around make sure that pin doesn't pop out and rip all the hoses out lose the machine but yeah that's pretty much it so i'll pick you guys up here in a little bit once i do a little bit more uh, probably once i close the gap in between all these and just show what it looks like all together and then uh, i'll get some drone videos for you guys too so well we just hit 10 acres and uh, I figured I would show you guys kind of how the ripper's doing. You can see it's making a big difference. You can see the rows I haven't done here. And then this big patch that I have done all together. So I'll climb down here and show you guys a little closer. It is a little bit harder to see on the camera. But. See, here's the just one of the rows I haven't done yet and then one of the rows I have 
it's really breaking up the dirt bringing it up to the surface and also uh, flipping in all the corn stalks in the trash and burying it which is what we like to see man it's cold out here Noah took that trip to Iowa and I was gonna go with him but then I ended up not going but I'm glad I didn't because we're getting Iowa out here as well so I should have put on my sweatshirt before I got out here but yeah you can tell it's doing a really good job it's working up the ground about exactly how we want it to and um, yeah like I said we'll go over it again with uh, our vertical tiller once we get done with this and uh, we'll run the angle of the discs at 15 when we go over this and we'll probably go over it at the exact opposite angle and then maybe go at it again at the same angle as this but there we go 9520RX she's a bit dirty but man does she look good well guys I had to come back inside I guess I'm just not man enough to brave the Iowa winter that has somehow made its way here in Colorado it's cold my beautiful locks were blowing all over my hands are freezing but I figured I'd kind of show you in here a little bit more we're doing 9, 9.5 to about 10 acres an hour which averages out I think to about eight not exactly sure like I said we're running the spacing at 17 and a half feet and it's really smoothing it up I didn't think it was gonna do as good of a job smoothing up uh, this dirt because it's so hard and clumpy but that roller is doing a lot better job than I thought it was going to do. So, uh, we do all pivots, and since this is in a circle, I've just been going till about there. Then I loop out the opposite way that I'm turning, because you can't turn super sharp with this. Because that roller pivots right at the end of the frame. And then we loop back, come right back into this other track, hit the auto steer, and then once we finish up all of the angle rows that we're doing, we'll come back and actually do circle track with this, make sure we get everything ripped good, and then we'll break out the VT, which is actually sitting over there because I VT'd all of these circle track end rows before I started disking or ripping this morning so it'd be a lot smoother to turn around but yeah then we'll hook that up and just do the whole field and then it's just up to see if it smooths it up how we want it to plant wheat into or not so well we are down to our last eight rows of uh, the longer rows here and then over there you can kind of see on the outside of the pivot let's see if you can kind of see down on the screen there actually uh, there's just the short rows there which those never take as long or it always looks like there's more there than there actually is I'm guessing we got about an hour and a half left and then we'll be uh, wrapped up with harvest 2023 I was just about to tell Troy to speed up and then I remember I just give it a little nudge Magically, the tractor keeps going the same speed. I did want to address one thing. So I was watching our video, the earlier on video, and I was talking about rain here in Colorado. And I said, I think something like the rain is not very important to us. It's almost a bonus. I meant that more just specifically for our farm in Colorado because we everything we farm is under a pivot. So if we plant our wheat, we can run the pivot a couple times in a circle, get the wheat up. Uh, I didn't mean that for all of Colorado, especially our dryland farmers. Shout out to Alex and Paul Swank. Um, they're dryland farmers out here by us. 
Uh, obviously the rain for them is very important. So a year like this was a really good year for for wheat harvest here in Colorado, or specifically in our area. I can't speak for eastern and southern Colorado. I'm not really sure what the rain was there. But I did just want to clear that up. Um, yeah, the rain is important and the fairs, Farm and Organic Colorado location is a big advocate for rain and we like when it comes. You can just stick with me and I'll be full by the end. And there's another full load of corn. Who's in the tractor? Not sure who's on that tractor right there, but uh, good thing we have the machine seek. Little update here, we are down to, looks like two rounds right here, and then there's just eight rows right over there. So, should be done with corn harvest here in about 30 minutes, barring any breakdowns. It is a good feeling to get the corn into a bin, be done with harvest. And uh, God even gave us a fall looking day here in Colorado to finish up corn harvest. Usually it's sunny, 70 degrees when we're getting done out here. And it doesn't really feel like fall or a typical Midwestern fall anyway. So I guess that can be an added bonus. It is nice, it's supposed to be in the 60s and 70s next week. Because I would rather have it be that anyway. And we even got our grain car driver back. And we are down to our last eight rows. I don't know how many feet it is. I don't know, maybe a couple football fields, so 600 feet, and then we'll be all wrapped up. And there it is, Harvest 2023 for Colorado is coming to an end. We'll, uh, yeah, get this corn dumped into the truck, get it home. We'll probably have to wait till tomorrow to put it in the bin. Uh, our wet tank's full, dryer can't keep up. But we'll get all the trucks emptied out tomorrow and find something else to do. I'm gonna run the combine back to the shop and Troy's gonna get in the quad track and keep disc ripping. So we'll see you back at the shop. shop here we're gonna call this a video if you liked it like it comment subscribe to the channel if you have any questions comment we'll either answer them in a video or just commenting on them again thank you for watching and we'll catch you next time